hi guys. So I have some pretty exciting things that I wanted to come on and share with you. I tried to do this video a couple times, you guys, but it got way too long. Um, so I'm just going to get into it and try and make this as short as I can. The first thing I wanted to start off with was my last video I did roughly about two weeks ago. Um, and just share some confirmations I received on that video. Many people commented saying that they had also received It Has Come Full Circle and Cup of Trembling. And I got those words the same night. And also that week I had received five or six words. And one of the words that was downloaded to me over and over and over for a couple days, you guys, was the word era. And as most dreams, visions, and words I receive, I just put them in the back of my mind. I don't forget about them, but I know eventually the Lord is going to um, show me what they mean. And sometimes it's months and months and months down the road. So five or six days ago, you guys, Todd from It Is Finished did a video confirming the it has come full circle and he was talking about revelation 311 and in that video he also talked about the end of the era and i believe what he was talking about was seven years ago when that tsunami hit japan um it happened on march 11th and the lord i believe it was that morning or the night before the Lord had given him the dream about the tsunami going to hit Japan. And he woke up and he told his family about it, his dream. And then he went down to the lobby and it was all over the news. So you guys, that was just a mind-blowing confirmation to me that just a week after I did that video, then Todd comes up and does this video. The same day that I did that video, Joey Bond had commented on that video that he received Cup of Trembling as well. And I'm subscribed to him. Later on that day, he did a video just confirming what he had received as well. And you guys, I about fell to the floor when I watched his video because he had received Cup of Trembling the exact same time I did in the exact same way. And we both woke up knowing cup of trembling, but we were just waking up. So we weren't a hundred percent, um, knowing that scripture. So of course we both had to look it up. He said, as he was researching cup of trembling, he got a notification on his phone that I had uploaded the video and the video title was Cup of Trembling. And he said also he about fell to the floor and how we just confirmed it that, I mean, what are the chances that we both get it at the exact same time in the exact same way? Um, I just believe it was from the Lord. And then again, I told you guys that a lot of, well, not a lot of people, but a few people had commented that they had received either one cup of trembling or it has come full circle. Um, somebody left a link to our sister from my beloved's channel that also received cup of trembling um, five or six days prior to Joey and I. So the confirmations on all this, you guys, is just coming. And as you guys know what is happening in Israel, that we are just on the cusp of everything that is about to happen and I believe my dreams are telling us that as well just my last couple dreams that I've had I talked about the vision that I received with the 11:59 and 55 seconds um and then the rapture dream that I had where everybody turned into a ball of light and shot straight up in the air and there was another one I wanted to remind you guys of but um, anyways, you guys, I'm going to get into these dreams and then tell you the confirmations I've received from them. My first dream was I was in this house and 
In my dream, I knew that we were expecting a storm, a huge storm. And I was in bed and my bed was in this living room pushed up against this bay window. And I sat up and I looked out the window and I saw this big, huge, massive storm. And it was right up to the house. It was probably 20 feet away from the house. But all I remember is seeing blackness. So I don't know if it was a tornado. It kind of looked like clouds that were um, circling around. But I also knew in the dream that this storm was everywhere. Like it had enveloped the whole planet. But I also knew that this storm could not touch me. So when I jumped out of bed, I started screaming to everybody in the house, the storm has come. And as I was coming out of that room, I entered into the entryway where the front door was. And there was five or six people standing there. And all of a sudden, the front door blew wide open. And it was like the storm was trying to suck these people out. So I was reaching for their arms and trying to grab them because I knew if I grabbed them and pulled them into the living room, they were going to be safe. And that was pretty much the end of my dream, you guys. So with that dream, I it's just pretty self-explanatory. I believe the Lord is telling us the storm is here. It is time to go home. And as we know that um, we're out of here before anything drastically happens war happens whatever I believe with all my heart and soul that um, the bride of Christ is gone in the Bible it speaks about um, eating drinking giving into marriage and I believe it's going to be a normal day so if World War III was happening or anything that was happening in the world how could it be a normal day where people were just going about their everyday lives, working or staying home with your kids. Um, you guys, scripture tells us that it's going to be a normal day. And as we all know, we are on the cusp of war. Um, I also had another dream that confirms this, but my second dream was pretty awesome, you guys. I was back in my hometown where I grew up. And it was me and about five or six other girls, and we were in the basement of my church. And we were at this long table, and we had all these dishes, like casserole dishes and baking stuff. And there was a huge cart there full of food, like flour, sugar, milk, butter. Um, and we were just having fun, laughing and talking and um, just cooking for this event and I'm not sure what the event was in my dream but we decided we were going to watch some YouTube videos and so we turned on the television and this YouTube video came up about this little 10, 11, 12 year old girl and she was so excited you guys she was like on fire for the Lord it was like I could feel her spirit in my dream and I knew that she was like, I know that I know that I know that the rapture is going to happen. And you guys, I can't remember for the life of me if she said right before, during, or right after this day that started with an S. And I knew in my dream she was talking about a Jewish day. You guys, I'm not Jewish, so I'm not familiar with everything. I know the basics of Feast of Trumpets, Tabernacles, Day of Atonement. I do know about Shava Oats, but I know that that wasn't the word. But I can't remember for the life of me what the word was. And I also know that it was roughly a couple days before or during or right after this S. And you guys, again, it's just a dream, but I just wanted to share the dream in case it is from the Lord. Um, and he's telling us to be ready at this time. But I do know it was a Jewish day. 
and I did look it up on a couple websites, but you guys, there's so many. There's like minor holidays, major holidays, and a lot of them were showing 2019. Nothing was really showing me 2018, which I thought was weird because we're only in February of 2018. So if you guys know anything or have any ideas, please leave it in the comments. The third dream I had was I was in Costco and it was really, really busy in there. And I just know that something was announced over the intercom and everybody in the store started panicking and started throwing everything that they could in their carts. The next thing I know is that I am in a cage in Costco. It was like they built these cages. And if you guys have ever been in Costco or Sam's Club or whatever, you know that they're bulk stores and their shelves are huge and they pretty much go up to the ceiling. So I was in this cage on the bottom floor right on the corner and I could see across the aisle all these cages. They were probably about five feet wide and there was one person per cage. So pretty much everybody was holding on to the bars and they were crying and saying, let me out. And there was just all these guards walking up and down the aisles. I don't remember escaping, but the next thing I know is that I'm running through the woods and I'm ducked down between on, below this tree. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing all these people running everywhere, just like crazy and I'm about 30 40 feet off of this path and I looked down the path and I saw all these military men um, like they were in Costco with big rifles walking up this path and I knew any second that they were gonna spread out and go find the civilians and at that time in my dream it kind of went black and I heard audibly like uh, AM radio. It was pretty staticky, but I heard Trump on the radio and he said that he had signed off and things were ready that I knew that he was talking about launching the nukes and that we were going into full blown war at that second. Um, so yeah, he signed off on a piece of paper. That's all I remember really is him saying, I signed off, everything's ready to go. So yes, we were going into war and the nukes were about to be launched. Then you guys, then it turned into Obama. And in my dream, I knew that I was dreaming, but I was trying really hard to hear and remember what Obama was saying as well. But it, again, it was like an AM radio and it was so staticky that I couldn't make it out. But I knew that he was pretty much taking over for Trump and he was announcing those things as well. And that was the end of my dream. So, of course, I prayed and asked the Lord for confirmation. And like a day or two later after this dream, you guys, then this all these videos started coming about about this painting of Obama with the six fingers and six toes. And I'm sure you guys have watched the videos. I only watched the one from Steve Fletcher and Born for Battle 74, Chris. Chris does videos about Obama pretty much every day um, and shows all the numbers and just everything that is pointing to Obama. But he also put a picture up of um, Obama, and I'm not sure if it was his family, but they were all wearing sandals. And you could see that Obama had six toes, and some of them had six toes. And then he put up the scripture. I can't remember exactly where it is in scripture where it talks about the six toes and the six fingers. So you guys, they're not even hiding it anymore. And I don't know why Obama had this portrait done, but... Um, you know darn well by looking at that portrait, this was not an accident. It is right in our faces. And the sad thing is 90% of the world is not even going to 
pay attention to this. Um, so yesterday I watched a video from Spirit of Blessings and there was a lady on there that would, had a rapture dream and I was like 80% paying attention, but I had my TV on as well. So I was kind of looking up at the TV and listening at the same time. And I heard her say the name Lena and I just froze and I had to rewind or play it over what her dream was. And you guys, it was just mind-blowing to me because Lena is not a very common name at all and I knew that the Lord was confirming the dream I had roughly about a year ago I think it was March or April of last year that I had the dream about the Ezekiel and Isaiah prophecy was about to happen and outside all this chaos was happening and I was with this this lady named Lena and just a month or two ago I had brought this dream up again so for this lady to get the name Lena I believe once again the Lord is telling us where we are and as you guys can see everything that's happening in Israel right now um, we are just on the cusp of everything happening which again the first thing that's going to happen is the rapture so, you guys, I'm just going to end this video with, you know, the true bride of Christ. We're ready. It's time to go home. And we are at the end of the 120th Jubilee. We are at the end of 5777-2017 Rabbi Ben Samuel's prophecy. We know how the Lord uses numbers and sevens, everything that was sevens. If you guys look at all the past jubilees with the sevens um could it be possible that we could go past this yes but you guys if there's ever a time to be looking my gosh it is right now it is time to be on fire for the lord and being ready and i believe in that one dream the lord was telling us that the storm is here but these last crucial seconds that we have we have to reach out with everything that we have and tell people what is happening and what is going to happen and tell them about the tribulation and sow those seeds even if they're not listening to us and they think that we're crazy they're going to know once we're gone that we were telling the truth and if we sow those seeds they're going to remember that and that's going to give them hope that they are still going to be able to go to heaven. So you guys don't be ashamed of telling people about Jesus. Don't put yourself in a corner and think that you're going to look like a fool because this is truth. If the Lord told us I am coming on March 11th, 100%, would you guys not be out there telling everybody you could possibly tell that the Lord is coming. You better get ready. We are there, you guys. We don't know the day or the hour, but we know, we know that we know that we know that the time is at hand. And just my dreams the last couple months are telling us we are on the cusp of eternity. So for you lukewarmers that are getting back into the world, you know, Remember Bible scripture, the Lord says he will spew you out of his mouth. So if there's any a time to get back on fire for the Lord, it is now. And you can just hit your knees and pray and, you know, repent and just get rid of this world. You guys, there is nothing in this world that is worth holding on to. We can't take anything with us anyways. And the things that the Lord has waiting for us. Um, it's just absolutely, we can't even comprehend what the Lord has for us, but as I don't focus on our rewards and what is waiting, I focus on Jesus knowing that when we give our lives to Jesus, everything else comes into play as well. Our mansions, our rewards, 
we're going to see our family that has already passed on and went home. And I know there's many of you that have lost your spouses and your children and your parents and just your loved ones that you guys be excited because they're excited. They know that the time is at hand as well. And I just watched a video not that long ago where this lady, I don't know if it was a dream or a vision, but this angel told her that heaven is ready. The angels are so excited. The people there are excited. Jesus is excited. Everything's ready for the wedding feast. And they're just waiting on the father to say, go get my children. So we know that the time is truly here and I believe Jesus is here and he's just waiting. So you guys, for the mockers and scoffers out there, just, I would be very careful with the words you speak and the words you type because you're going to take account for every single word you say it to us, his children and what you say about the Lord. And I promise you every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord because he is. And there's no greater power, no greater God than Jesus Christ. So today is the day to get right. And um, just hit your knees and pray like you never have prayed before because we could be taken at one o'clock in the morning and boom, it's over and you're going to have to go through the tribulation. And I always think back to that demonstration that Francis Chan did with that white rope and he had painted that little red mark on that rope and he was saying, this is our time on this planet. And everybody thinks about this little red piece on this rope, but nobody thinks about eternity Today is the day to start thinking about not the rest of our life in this world, but our life that is about to begin, our true life with Jesus Christ in heaven, in paradise, where we belong, where we are going. You want to go there. You don't want to go to hell. And hell is real, my friends. And it's nothing to play with. It is absolutely nothing to play with. But Jesus loves us enough to give us that choice to choose. He's not going to force anybody to love him. He wants you to come to him free will. And you guys, he will open up the heavens and pour out his love. And just the love that we feel here is so overwhelming. Can you just imagine the love that he's going to pour upon us once we're home? Oh my gosh, it's just gonna, I don't know. If you guys have ever watched those shows where near-death experiences where they actually got to feel just a fraction of the Lord's love. And I never watched one of those near-death experiences, even when they were atheists that wanted to come back to this earth. They wanted to stay with Jesus. So there's never a love that you could ever possibly feel on this planet so just think about the person that you love the most in your life, whether it's your child or your spouse or your mother. Um, the love of the Lord is multiplied by a gazillion trillion, and you're still not even going to come close to the love the Lord has for us. But you guys, I'm going on 30 minutes here, and I really didn't want to. Well, no, I'm going on 24, but it's still long enough, so I don't want to keep you guys... Um, just get ready. We're going home. The wedding feast of the lamb is about to begin. Our lives are about to begin. Our dreams here on this earth are about to become a reality. You guys, we are about to see our Lord and savior face to face. It's just going to be absolutely amazing, but I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Take care and God bless.